Happy Friday, guys. Brandon with Electrical Specialist. I uh, just thought I'd come to you and do a little educational video on multi-wire branch circuits. Uh, we've done a lot of jobs lately where this has come into play, and it's not something you would know without a little education, so I figured it'd be an easy one to show you. Uh, so, multi-wire branch circuit is obviously more than one circuit. So here's a good example. You guys have probably seen the inside of your panel. You've got wires coming in the panel. Hopefully they're stripped out so there's no insulation in there. But for the purposes of this video, you see, obviously, you've got your neutral and your ground going over to their individual bars or together uh, if they're bonded. But you've got two circuits. This happens in a lot of houses in the 60s and 70s, early 80s. Um, in the same jacket, you'll see you have two circuits, right? you got a red and a black. Uh, in older homes that aren't up to date, you'll notice they're on different individual breakers. So they're sharing a neutral, but they're on individual breakers. So if one thing happens on this red circuit, it's going to trip the one breaker, but not the other. So what we want to do is put it on a two-pole breaker on the same handle here. So if something happens to one of these circuits, say the black circuit trips, that handle is going to pull both of them and shut them off. And the reason we want to do that is each circuit's 120 volts. So it's going to my computer, it's going to a vacuum cleaner and a plug on the wall or something like that. If we were to lose a neutral, this neutral here, say uh, it falls out of the back of the plug. A lot of us have the old 1980s backstab plugs. Say the wires to come loose. It loses the neutral. That set of circuits is now 240 volts instead of 120. Your TV does not run on 240 volts. Your vacuum cleaner does not run on 240 volts. Now that you've lost the neutral, you're going to let all the smoke out of your TV, vacuum cleaner, whatever else you try to run. It'll run real good for about 10 seconds and then it won't ever run again. So... That's the danger of multi-wire branch circuits if you don't have them on a two-pole breaker. The code states now anytime we run a new circuit, it has to have its own neutral. So that's something to look for. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this a little bit, learned a little bit. If you have any questions, just let me know. Anyway, have a good weekend, guys.